facts are right there beside you. Or you saw him die, you got a real few. Would you keep living the life the way that you do? There was just something about the truth in, 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 in the Word that made it just superior to me. As I'm reading the Book of Mormon and I'm trying to rectify what's being spoken in there with history, they're quoting all these different, you know, quote unquote civilizations that were supposed to be in America, that there's no historical documentation whatsoever. And yet I knew in the Bible the things of, you know, whether you believe that the Bible is true or not, you can't deny the fact there really was a Solomon, there really was a David, there really was a historical Jesus, there really was these people. You know, so, but you keep in mind, I'm still on this process of coming to God. So for me at least to know from at least an historical point, there's, there's truth here. And it, it made me go, okay, okay. Because you have to understand, when I came to God, it was just me basically going, I want to give my life to God. I just don't know which, who, who is that? And so that process of me, it wasn't just this emotional thing of coming to Christ. It was really a researched, studied thing and I knew that the Word of God stood up so powerfully to criticism, to historical accuracy, to the truth in it. That's what really began to make God work in my life.